chip, chip, chip. You're just a little chicken. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Chip, 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 chip. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. If you have any problems, talk to me and I will help you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Things are different now, John. No more Dutch! And no more you. How dare you talk to me like that? I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. We'll see about that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Poor John. So, how do you feel? I'm tired. I'm wasted. What were you doing? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Anyway, how is your sex life? Did you want to die? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? That's the idea. What will you do now? I show them. I record everything. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plan to settle here and build a life for yourself. Well, that's a very interesting story. When I moved to San Francisco uh, with two suitcases, and I didn't know anyone, and I have, uh, I hit YMCA with a $2,000 check, which I couldn't cash. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me, and I don't care anymore. I had no idea. You poor man. Everybody betrayed me. I don't have a friend in the world. Listen, can you help me? Anything for my princess. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? <laughs> why, Lisa, why, why? How could you do this to me? <laughs> don't touch me, motherfucker. Are you from Norse stock? What makes you say that? This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. <laughs> Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. But you're a psychologist. So is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. You must be crazy. I can't drink this. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. Nice talks, you look great. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. Maybe I know more than you think I do, Mark. Oh, hi, Danny. Hello again, John. What's new with you? I got a plan, John. Danny, don't plan too much. It may not come out right. This is a good one. What do you mean? Thanks a lot. Bye. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. God, forgive me. Why is this happening to me? Why? It's over. God, forgive me. Is he dead? <laughs> My God, Mark, is he dead? <gasps> Do 
Yes, he's dead. Yes, he's dead! <laughs>